Okay, welcome to baby time, everybody. I'm Andrea. I'm here at the Wilmette Public Library doing virtual baby time with you. Welcome. Um, baby time is um, a lapsit program, which means I'm going to be doing some songs uh, that, and, and rhymes and things that have um, parts where you lift your baby or hug your baby or rock your baby back and forth. Yeah, so it's a really fun one for cuddling on the lap. And I see lots of babies in my screen cuddling with their grownups on their laps. This is going to be so much fun. I use Bear as my uh, demonstration baby, right? So Bear, show, can, Bear will show you what to do. And in baby time, we start with a song called Hi, Hello, and How Are You? And it goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Oh, I see some of you know that song and some of our bigger babies know how to wave as well. So exciting. Let's do that again. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I'm gonna clap my hands. Grown ups, let's show babies how we clap our hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? Hooray! Yay. And hearing that rhythm is so wonderful for helping them recognize um, syllables and words and, and uh, helping them develop their listening vocabulary. All fun, but also good stuff. Okay. Now we're going to clap our hands some more, grown-ups. Let's do make our hands go clap, clap, clap. Same tune. Make your hands go clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Make your hands go clap, clap, clap. My sweet baby. All right. We do everything two or three times because babies love repetition. They also learn from repetition. They know what they're doing. Let's do make your hands go clap, clap, clap again. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. Hooray! Very nice. Welcome to baby time. Okay, the next rhyme we're going to do is Akabaka Soda Cracker. This is one of my favorites. Um, Akabaka Soda Cracker is a bouncing rhyme. So we'll do some gentle bouncing, okay? And in the middle, there's a lift when I say, up goes you. And then the very end, it's there's a hug, I love you. Very simple, here we go. Akka back a soda cracker, akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker, up goes you. Akka back a soda cracker, akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker, I love you. Or up you go again. <laughs> Great. Let's do that two more times. Akka back a soda cracker. Akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker. Up goes you. Akka back a soda cracker. Akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker. I love you. Aww. Welcome, new babies. Hello. Oh, I miss seeing babies out and about. <laughs> yep. Yes, one more time. Akka back a soda cracker, akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker, up goes you. Akka back a soda cracker, akka back a boo. Akka back a soda cracker, I love you. Yay, very nice. Okay, now next is a tickle rhyme. Only if your baby enjoys it. It's hard to tell, but you know, you can, you're the, you're the, if you're the parent, you know they like to be tickled or not. And I respect that if they don't like it. But if they like a little tickle, you can dig a hole with your little finger and you say, I'm going to dig a hole and I don't know where. I'm going to dig a hole right there <laughs> oops oh where's your tickle spot where's your tickle spot is it in your armpit 
It's a very common single spot. Oh, I've got my shovel. I've got my shovel. I'm going to dig a hole and I don't know where. I'm going to dig a hole right there. <laughs> Are we liking this? I'm seeing some smiles. One more. I'm going to dig a hole and I don't know where. I'm going to dig a hole right, right. there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we got you. We got you. Okay, let's sing a song. This one's fun. It's called Walking Old Joe. I learned this one in my son's Wiggle Worms class at the Old Town School of Folk Music in Chicago. Here we go. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country, yo. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country. And then we could fall over, whoa, horsey. <laughs> Yeah. And now we're going to go fast. Are you ready to gallop with old Joe? The okay. Fast in bounces. Gallop old Joe. Gallop old Joe. You're the best horse in the country, yo. Gallop old Joe. Gallop old Joe. You're the best horse in the country. Whoa, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's do that again. Get back up on that horse. Get back up on that horse. Now we're going to go. Let's walk slow. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country. Yo, walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country. Whoa, Joe! <laughs> what is Joe doing? Let's go fast. Gallop old Joe, gallop old Joe, you're the best horse in the country. Yo. Gallop old Joe, gallop old Joe, you're the best horse in the country. Whoa, Joe! Silly old horse, silly old horse. <laughs> Very good. Now, do any, all of you have a scarf or a napkin? Or just use your hands. We're gonna sing our peekaboo song. We're gonna sing our peekaboo song. I'm gonna lay Bear down right on my lap so he can see me do peekaboo. So you can have your baby face you for this. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Wait, pick up both sides. Maybe, I see a lot of them are looking at me. So you can do it with your baby, have them face you or they, I can play peekaboo with them. Here we go. This is our peekaboo song. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek a boo. Timmy. That's it. Easy, right? <laughs> Let's do it again. Peek a boo, peek a boo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose. I see your tiny toes. I see you, peekaboo. Hey. Oh, that was fun. Okay, let's do another scarf rhyme. This is Jack in the Box. If you bunch up a scarf or a napkin, piece of fabric um, into your hand, you can make it pop out of the box. Jack in the box sits so still. Will he come out? Yeah. Yes, he will. Whoa. Yeah. What a surprise. Yeah. Jack in the box sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, in baby time, I've been teaching signs that are helpful for communicating with your baby. And in the past year or so, we've learned um, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, so I just get a comment from Robbie. We love you, Robbie. Hope you have your day gets better. Um, we're going to learn the sign for hungry today. 
So to make the sign for hungry, you make a C um, with your hands grown up and then you run it down your throat, hungry, hungry, like that, hungry. So um, your baby's listening vocabulary develops before speaking vocabulary so they can understand the word hungry before they can say it, right? Um, but they can communicate hungry to you um, and you can, if you say, uh, if you do the sign for hungry or, or other words, signs for other words while you say them, after a few weeks or months, um, as babies as young as um, six months can start to um, sign back to you um, when they're hungry, which I'm sure you can understand would be very helpful. Um, so thirsty is very similar. You point with your finger and draw a line down your throat, thirsty. So um, if you ask your baby, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Um, they could and keep keep at it, be consistent with it. They can sign back to you and help you understand what they mean. And it can relieve a lot of frustration for you and for them. So we're going to learn um, a few signs um, over the course of baby time. We'll learn a new sign each week. And I made up a little song. Um, and the oh, and the the uh, the song that I made up has a third sign in it. Sorry, is more, more. I think more was the only sign that my son could do, but it still helped me out so much. You pinch your fingers together and tap them together more. And um, you know if your baby signs, they kind of do signs in their own way. And just like they say words in their own way. And you'll be able to interpret uh, what they're trying to say um, with your hand. So here's how the song goes. If you're hungry and you know it, ask for more. If you're hungry and you know it, ask for more. If you're hungry and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're hungry and you know it, ask for more. If you're thirsty and you know it, ask for more. If you're thirsty and you know it, ask for more. If you're thirsty and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're thirsty and you know it, ask for more. Yeah. Do any of you know any signs or doing signs with your baby? Um, open? I think oh, open. yeah. Oh, that's book. It's book. Yeah. Or book. book. Yeah. Yeah. Book yeah. Book. Book. <laughs> yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. If you, you know, when you read with your babies, and I hope you are never too young to read with your babies, um, you can sign book and they might start asking for a book. It's very cool. It's so cool. Okay. Babies are like, come on. Can we move on, please? Uh, let's do shakers. Do you have a shaker toy? Can I get a shaker? shaker. You can use your fist you too. You stay here, sweetie. I'll get it for you. Here we go. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shaker to the side and shake it all around. <laughs> shake it over your shoulder. Shake it over your head. Shake it over your tummy and tuck it into bed. <laughs> there you go. Let's do it again. Can you shake your shaker up high? Shake it up high. Can you shake your shaker down low? Low. It's down here. Hard to see, but it's down here. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shaker to the side and shake it all around. Shake it over your shoulder. Shake it over your head. Shake it over your tummy and no. tuck it into bed. Good night, shaker. Yay, let's shake our shakers as loud as we can. Oh, that was fun. Wow. Can you believe we only have two songs left? Two songs left. Yeah. Let's sing our lullaby song. This is Skinnamarink. Do some of you know Skinnamarink? Yay. Yay. Some of you do. Everyone does Skinnamarink a little bit differently. I'm going to do it like this. We do this, and then we do this, and we do some coddling. It's a lot of fun. Here we go. Skinnamarink-a-dink-a-dink, skinnamarink-a-doo. I love you. <laughs> Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a doo. I love you. I 
love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Yay. That was nice. Should we do it again so we can learn it? Let's do it again. If you don't know it, it's a nice one to sing at bedtime or nap time. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Okay. Yay. Oh. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Okay, I like to finish baby time with the more we get together. And in normal times, we're here in the program room. And after we sing, the more we get together, we bring out the baby toys and we have a big baby party. It's a lot of fun. Looking forward to the day we can get back to that. Okay. Here we go. The more we get together together together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Let's do it again. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Wonderful. I see some of you have your own instruments too. Oh, that's great. Okay, I hope um, all of you join me next week for baby time. Same day, same time, Tuesdays at 9.30.